Hi guys, so I just got a new laptop um, and uh, it's uh, the Asus GL553VD. Uh, these just came out on the market. They're an update of, the, of, this, uh, of, the, of this line of budget uh, gaming laptops from Asus. It's got the newest uh, seventh generation um, Intel processor. I, it's, a, it's a budget gaming laptop, but I really, I bought it for, for video editing. So I just wanted to find something that, you know, would do the job, but at the same time that would not, uh, you know, would not cost me a lot of money. This computer has a top of the line, you know, uh, laptop processor. It's the i7-7700 HQ, but it with four cores. So that's, that's really wanted to a computer with four cores. So this comes with the GTX 1050 uh, GPU. So the nice thing about this one, it's the, it's the new generation, the Pascal uh, architecture uh, GPU. So this means you get more power with less wattage, like this one, for example, runs at 50 watts versus, for example, the 970M uh, processor, it's, it's, it runs at 80 watts. So this performance, looking at the benchmarks, then 1050 is not quite the same as 970 M. I thought it was, would be about the same, so it's, it's a bit less, but, um, but still it's a nice improvement over the 960M. And uh, the main thing is that uh, it, you know, it, it's just powerful enough for my purposes. I'm going to be editing on the, um, on the, in Adobe Premiere. Now, if, I wanted, if you are going to be using uh, DaVinci Resolve, for example, for video editing or, um, or for um, color correction, then um, you'll be able to do it. But if, if Resolve is your primary tool, then I would opt for a model that's more powerful. There's another option uh, uh, when it comes to these laptops. There is a, there is a model with the GPU 1050 Ti. And so it gives you actually good boost in performance of the GPU. As you know, electronics makers these days, they put an effort into how they package. Um, their products. So, so here's the laptop. I'm going to put the box away. I should mention it's a, it's a 15.6 inch laptop. The, this is actually uh, Asus has redesigned uh, their laptops this year in terms of well, in terms of this uh, the cover. And one thing I was I'm really picky about with laptops is the keyboard and also the touchpad. The keyboard does uh, feel very nice for a laptop this size. And it actually has a lot of uh, travel, the keys, uh, 2.5 millimeters. The layout is nice. It's, uh, I mean, you know, could be better. The arrows are kind of a bit maybe smaller. The arrow keys are a bit smaller than I would like them, but uh, it feels comfortable. Actually, the main thing, I, the, the enter key, if it could be bigger, closer, so I didn't have to like stretch out my pinky finger would be better. But otherwise I like it. Like I also, you know, uh, comparing, also considering buying the 17 inch version of this laptop. It's the same price, almost the same, everything the same, except that, you know, bigger screen, one extra USB port and, and also mini display port. Now, when I, I was surprised that actually the keyboard on the 17 inch uh, version is the same as this one. So they just like kind of have the sides bigger. That was really the deciding factor why I ended up choosing the 15 inch version. Also important uh, factor in buying uh, and deciding to buy this laptop was actually this side here is it's very easy to, to upgrade this laptop in terms of the um, SS, uh, putting a different drive or adding memory. So basically you don't have any of these annoying uh, stickers that say, you know, if you, if you break the sticker, then you're going to uh, you know, avoid the warranty like what MSI does. In terms of the memory, there are two memory slots uh, and you can, and one is only occupied now. It's 16 gigabyte bar, so now we can put, so we can upgrade up to 32 gigabytes. I've got the slot for M.2 drive, so I already bought uh, an SSD and I'm going to try it out, see how, how much of an improvement it makes. But that's a, the sweet thing about this laptop, it's really easy to upgrade it. Not that there's anything exciting left in the, in the box, but let's try to uh, see what we have here in terms of, I guess the main th question mark is how big is the power supply bar? So this is the size. That's actually pretty good. I mean, uh, I read, I read complaints about the size of the, of the power bars on, on, on the Asus ROG uh, uh, laptops. So this one is, uh, is reasonable. It's kind of, you know, it's not too thick. So um, that makes it, will make it easier to put it in the laptop bag. 
Uh, that's it. Nothing more. No surprise goodies in here. The box is much bigger than it needs to be, really. It's a nice box, though. In a moment, I'll show you how this laptop performs when editing 4K video. As you can see, I've got a lot of things hooked up to, to the laptop. Uh, external monitor and the mouse keyboard and this way I can work much faster so you know at home for sure I take advantage of that if you have a powerful laptop like this one you for sure want to have a cooling pad as you can see the ports filled up really fast including the three USB ports so I actually ended up getting this USB type C to type A adapter uh, so that I could uh, hook up a second external drive for example so it's a nice HD monitor. I'm also happy with the keyboard. Now when it comes to the trackpad, it's okay, but um, I don't imagine myself editing without a mouse. Here I've got 4.6K footage from the Ursa Mini. I can scroll through it. Uh, I can play at two, three times the speed. Sometimes it will stutter at three, four times the speed, but that's not really a problem. Here I'm going to load up a big, uh, Premiere project uh, to show you how fast it loads up. It took about 30 seconds, so that's really fast. Now the project was cached as is normally the case in Premiere. Here is another project. This one shot with GH4 in 4K. And again, I can go pretty smoothly through the footage uh, at two, three times the speed. Here to make things more interesting, I added uh, three overlays. My old uh, editing machine w would slow down if I used one of those overlays, but uh, this one had uh, no problems with three. I also wanted to see how fast I could copy footage between drives. Uh, here it's actually slow, surprisingly slow, uh, but that's because I was connected through that adapter type C to type A. But then when once I connected this USB 3 drive directly to a USB 3 port, then it was going really fast. The biggest gripe I had with my previous editing machine was that it only had USB 2 ports, which made it really painful to copy footage. So even though that PC had good uh, CPU, GPU, and lots of memory, I still needed to get a new editing machine. You might want to keep an eye on the memory usage. I actually had a problem with a background uh, process from McAfee antivirus software. Uh, it was draining like extra half a gigabyte of uh, memory. And after a few days, McAfee fixed the, the bug, but uh, you never know. So if you see your computer slow down, then you know, take a look at the memory usage. Mind you, with 16 gigabytes of memory, uh, this laptop was still running smoothly. When it comes to bloatware on this laptop, there wasn't much. I think I uninstalled one uh, program, but uh, I almost un uninstalled this little app, which actually I find it now useful. It shows me the temperature of the, of the laptop. So, bef you know, so again, not much bloatware and before you uninstall anything, just make sure you actually don't need it. So this laptop is listed at $1,100 US, although I was able to find it a bit cheaper. For more information and all the specs, please visit our website. Also, in a few months, I'm going to do a follow up in a review of this laptop. So stay tuned for that and uh, see you soon.